Question 19. Diagram shows two cylinders, A and B. Cylinder A has a height of 1.6 and a radius of 0 0.56 metres as shown. Work out the curved surface area of cylinder A. So, curved surface area of that cylinder, of any cylinder, you have this in your formula sheet, is 2 times pi times r times h, which means we just need to sub in our radius and our height and let the calculator do the rest. So, 2 times pi times 0 0.56 times 1.6. Calculator then gives us 5.6297 and change. Because we're rounding it to three significant figures, we're going to be rounding there, which gives us a final answer of 5.63. Next part, cylinder B is mathematically similar to cylinder A. So what that means is if you compare any corresponding lengths, so lengths that describe the same thing in each shape, for example, 0 0.6 and 1.6, or for example, a small radius here and the big radius there, you will have a scale factor. The big lengths are going to be so many times as big as the small lengths, and it's going to be the same scale factor for both of them. So whatever you multiply by comparing the radii, you're going to have the same thing comparing the height as your scale factor. What do we ask for? We're asked for the radius of cylinder B, and as per the picture, we're given the height of 0 0.6. So if we notice, we have our heights for both of them, so we can figure out how much times bigger the lengths are in A compared to B by dividing 1.6 and 0 0.6 with each other. So 1.6 divided by 0 0.6 gives us 8 over 3. Now I could write that as 2.6 recurring, which means all of the lengths in the big shape are 2.6 recurring times as big, but I'm going to leave it as 8 thirds because fractions are your friend like that. Um, work out the radius of cylinder B now. 0 0.56 is going to be the radius of the small one times this 8 over 3. So if I label our small radius here, we'll call it r, r times 8 thirds equals 0 0.56. So that's what I'm going to write down. r radius times zero, sorry, times 8 over 3 is going to equal 0 0.56. And that's just an equation that I can solve now. If I divide both sides by 8 thirds, which you can do in one go if you'd like, you will end up with 0 0.21. If you were to try and do this without a calculator, you would do this times 3, first of all, get an answer, and then divide it by 8. But either way, our radius is 0 0.21 meters. Done.